Good morning, my dear students. I am Nitika Mehta, your maths teacher. I hope you all are safe at your homes, having a nice family time, eating healthy food. Okay. In our previous class, students, we read about the concept of long and short. We read that objects they differ in their length and height, due to which they are longer and shorter. in comparison to some other objects sometimes by looking at an object it is difficult to tell how long an object is for that we can use some smaller objects to measure the length of the given objects today with the help of some smaller objects we will try to measure the length of some given objects and try to make out how long they are okay let's start here i have a scrabble box with me now if i want to measure the length of the scrabble box with the help of this pencil let's see how long the scrabble box is One, two, and a half. It is approximately two and a half pencils long. Let's look at this mind game as well. I have the box of the mind game with me. Its length I'm going to measure with the help of this pencil. It is one and a half pencil long. Let's look at this companion book. If I have to measure this companion book with the help of the pencil, it is about one and a half pencil long. Okay. I'm going to measure this ruler with the help of this eraser. Let's see how long it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. It is about eight erasers long. Okay. Let's measure this box with the help of the eraser. It is about one, two, three, and four erasers long. Now, if I measure these objects with the help of a sharpener. If I measure this companion book, let's see how long it is. One, two, three, four, and five. It is about five sharpeners long. Okay. If I measure this box with the help of this sharpener, it will be about one. Two, three, and four sharpeners long. Okay. If I have to measure the scale with the help of this chalk, let's see how long it is. One, two, three, four. And a half. It is approximately four and a half chalk long. So, my dear students, with the help of some smaller objects, here we have tried to measure the length of some bigger objects to come to a conclusion that how long they are. So, similarly, we can measure the 
length of some other objects around us with the help of smaller objects to have an idea how long they are. I hope you have understood the concept completely and you will try to practice it yourself at home. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much.